Hey guys, welcome back to Mighty Morphin DJ. I'm DJ, and today we have a few things to talk about. So first of all, we did have the fan stream today, the Hasbro Pulse Power Rangers 30th Anniversary fan stream, and I'll get into it a little bit later, but I personally was very disappointed. Uh, secondly, we did get a new 30-second clip from the Power Rangers Once and Always 30th Anniversary trailer, so we're going to take a look at that here in just a second. And then also, I went to South Carolina Comic Con and met a couple of legendary peoples that I'll talk about here in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at this 30-second clip. Messing with this place was a big mistake. Oh, full on. I didn't take much. Oh. Time for hip hop keto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you break dance fighting? <laughs> Badass. Okay. That was awesome. Oh, that was so fun to watch. I can't wait for the show. Oh, my God. Okay, so first, yeah, we're in the juice bar, and we are getting the full-on juice bar. There's the bar. There's the seats that were there on, like, the riser. They were down in the gym area when they first teleported in. So we're getting the full-on juice bar, the whole thing, the entire youth center. So that's that's awesome. I love that. This was really for Zach. This was really for Walter. First of all, for Walter Jones to show off that the man still got the moves. But second of all, they really wanted a reason to give Zach hip hop keto, and this was just his moment to do it. I really feel like that's why this whole scene was filmed, and it was awesome. I mean, he's just he's he's doing this. He's he's you know he's breaking it down. Oh, and Ming sitting there, and she's like, "Are you breakdance fighting?" It's like you're damn right. <laughs> so that was that was really cool. I really enjoyed this. I mean, it was just a lot of fun to watch. But there's an interesting like plot kind of thing in this, and that Ming is at the juice bar, which that might not mean anything. I mean, I'm sure she grew up in Angel Grove, so she probably goes to the juice bar regularly. But What's interesting to me is that she's there by herself, alone, and that the, she is surrounded by putties. So I'm curious what leads to that. How does that happen? Rocky really stands out here, too. I mean, he is he is laying the smack down on these guys. Like, the fight scene starts, and he just kicks three of them in the face at one time, and they just crumble. It's like, that was easy. So Rocky gets to stand out and be a badass in this, which I really appreciate, because he didn't really get a lot of that during his time on the show. So that... Steve Carzinas deserved that. I like that a lot. Overall, it was a great fight sequence. It was a great 30 seconds that we got. It's going to be Wednesday. That is in two days' time. And I absolutely cannot wait. Cannot wait. All right. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the fan stream. Now, a lot of people really did like it. A lot of the prominent Power Rangers content creators really liked it. Because they did break a record in that they released more Lightning Collection figures than in any previous stream. I think it was like 13 or something like that. And there were a lot of figures, and I mean, you know, I'm not taking anything away from them. They released a ton of figures, and they all look really good. So I'll get into those first, and then I'll go into my complaint. So first they talked about uh, Turbo Red Ranger TJ, which I'm actually excited for because TJ is among my top five Power Rangers of all time. He's, he's up there. I love TJ. And the fact that he's getting his action figure as the red Turbo Ranger is super exciting. Because even though I'm not the biggest fan of Turbo, I love TJ. And TJ was the Red Ranger of Turbo. Well, he's Red Ranger number two, but he's also the very first African-American Red Ranger. And that deserves recognition. And he's just a great character in general. So they did a good job with his figure. He looks great. Uh, he's got all the accessories that he should have. I mean, it's just an exciting time for fans of that character. Uh, now, they also released RPM Yellow, which looks really, really good. And I was always a really big fan of RPM and a big fan of the Yellow Ranger of RPM. Summer was great. I really liked her a lot, especially her backstory. So I'm excited to see that figure. 
They also released Lightspeed Rescue Blue, which... I mean, that's okay, you know, but uh, personally, I would rather have had Carter uh, or maybe the Pink Ranger from uh, Lightspeed Rescue, uh, but, uh, you know, they got to start somewhere, so, and it's good that they kept to the core colors. They did a Red Ranger, a Yellow Ranger, and a Blue Ranger, so I did like and appreciate that. Now, they also released uh, a few new Cobra Kai Power Ranger collab figures. Not going to talk about that because I could give a rat's behind about Cobra Kai Power Rangers collab. Cobra Kai is cool, Power Rangers is cool, but they make zero sense being together, so not going to talk about it. Now, they also released the rest of the MMPR remastered line, which didn't see coming. Red, green, blue, black, yellow, pink, they were all there, and they look fantastic. Tommy even comes with a green candle accessory, which is cool, and the golden power shield is swappable from all the rangers in the remastered line, so you can put the shield on any of the rangers that you want, which is really cool too. So that was something that fans were really excited about. They have also announced the release of the Minotaur monster figure, which is really cool because the Minotaur was the monster that necessitated the Rangers bring out the power weapons for the first time, which was awesome. And the Peace Day Resistance, the Rita Repulsa action figure, looks really, really good. Especially the face sculpt. She's got a face for everything. I mean, there's a face. If you put her arms like this and she's making a face, I mean, it can look like she's suffering from a headache. It looks good. So they released a lot of figures, and the figures look good. I'm not taking anything away from them. They also released a new addition to the Selfie series in that now you can get yourself as a Black Power Ranger MMPR, which, okay, I'm on board for that. I love me some Black Ranger, so I really did enjoy it. So that was good. I did like what they revealed. It's just that... Now, I personally am not an action figure guy. I will get a selfie series figure because why not? And I do get action figures of the particular characters that I intend to meet the actor of and have them sign. I will do that, but I don't collect all the figures. I have precious few figures. Um... I am a roleplay guy. I like my helmets. I like my replica weapons. I like my morphers. I like those things. And we got nothing of that in this stream. No announcement for the Yellow Ranger helmet. No announcement for the Master Morpher, both of which have been leaked. Um, no teases for anything to come in terms of roleplay items. Just absolutely nothing. And I was severely disappointed with that. And that is why I feel like this live stream, even though they did break a figure announcement record, the lack of roleplay items has just tainted it for me. So to me, there have been better live streams because of what was announced in those streams. Not the number of what was announced, but the content, you know, the, of what was announced. So to me, that was disappointing. Now you can go back and rewatch the entire live stream on Hasbro Pulse YouTube channel. I will put a link in the description below. Finally, to wrap this up, and this won't take too awful long, I just want to post this. Uh, went to South Carolina Comic Con, met Austin St. John for the third time. This time, got a picture to prove it. And Johnny Young Bosch, who is again one of my top five Power Rangers of all time. The man's amazing. And got a picture with him, got autographs from both. And both of them, super cool dudes. You know, poor Johnny Young Bosch was just bogged down with not just Power Rangers fans, but anime fans too. His line was like two miles long. Um, and then Austin St. John, super cool dude as always. I really like him. I enjoy meeting him every chance that I get. So it was just a really, really good experience at South Carolina Comic Con and meeting two absolute legends of the Power Rangers franchise and two of my top five Power Rangers of all time. Well, guys, that's it for me this week. If you've enjoyed this video, please check out this video right here and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. But in the meantime, this has been Mighty Morphin DJ. I'm DJ, and you know what time it is.